good uh, good good afternoon uh, to uh, everybody out there. I just wanted to first of all welcome my guest, which is uh, Daniel Nadim. He's a Actually, the SOC operations manager for Oracle. Um, he's also transitioned into cybersecurity, and we're going to hear his story now. So let's just get straight into it, uh, Danielle. Welcome. And can you just give me your story, how you got into cybersecurity, please? Sure. Thank you for the great introduction, and um, honored to be here and uh, sharing my experience. So I, I'll give a, a quick kind of five-minute overview of uh, my journey so far. So um, I... I'd, I'd, came to the UK in 2010. So that's when I moved to the UK from Pakistan. Um, and I was 17 at that time. So what I did was uh, enrolled um, into college uh, on a BTEC level three diploma in IT and networks. So mm -hmm. that's how I initially kind of started in tech, you know, the, the learning part. Um, so that was in September, I did a couple of years at college. Um, but then when I finished college, I was still, due to my visa and circumstances, classed as an overseas student. And, and for those who have attended university in the UK as overseas students, uh, it can be quite costly, upwards of £15,000 a year sometimes. So um, at that point in time, I decided to kind of take a break um, for a few years and, um, you know, just uh, work and uh, do a bit of training on the side. So what I did do was become an expert at making coffee, uh, which I'm really proud of. So worked as a barista for a couple of years, um, but also did some um, training on the side. So at the time I was really interested in computer networks. So pursued um, doing CCNA, uh, which is uh, really common when it comes to um, entry level uh, networking. So, um, and the break was quite long. It was three years. And I'll come back to why I'm telling uh, or sharing all of this, right? So I took a big break for three years, I worked as a barista, um, did some training on the side. And then uh, in 2015, um, I became a home student. So then went on to university um, and did a degree in networks and security. So even at that time when I started um, my degree and did the degree, my interest was uh, primarily in computer networks. Um, but while doing my um, university course, I got introduced into, uh, you know, security concepts. Um, and that's when I really kind of um, uh, started exploring security and, um, you know, understanding what's out there, what's in the market. And um, yeah, I did three years at university. And then um, as soon as I graduated, was kind of fortunate enough to um, land my first job um, in IT. So that's kind of a brief, um, you know, overview of my journey so far. Well, oh. up to the point that I got my first job. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you for that sort of a uh, little bit of uh, insight into that. So did you, obviously you've done a degree in computer networks, you've done a degree tech diploma before. Um, so that sort of set the groundwork. Now, what did you do in terms of specifically in terms of certifications or boot camps within cybersecurity? You would obviously landed your first role. Did you then go on and do some certs within cyber at all? I did, yes. So I did not do any certs uh, prior to my first um, job. So okay. uh, just based off of my college and my university degree, I, I managed to land a job. Okay. Um, and uh, I, I guess before I get into certs, the reason why I mentioned um, uh, coming from Pakistan and, and you know, being an overseas student, I think the reason why I mentioned it is to kind of show people that it is possible coming yeah. from um, a different country, getting educated and then, um, you know, landing a, a job and making a career out of it. And secondly, um, it's, it's okay to take a break sometimes. So mm -hmm. sometimes in life, you are unsure about, you know, what your next step should be. And um, it is okay to take a break. Although I do suggest that when you are taking a break, um, do not, just not do anything, but do something yeah. with that break. So at least move into a direction so that you can kind of see different perspectives and um, you know have that exposure. But uh, to answer your question, yeah, uh, no, I did not do any other sort of boot camps or certifications before my job. Once I did get into the industry, that's when I recognized, okay, these are the things I may need to work on um, and um, do. So I did some uh, certifications like the COMTI Security Plus, the CYSA Plus, um, CEH, uh, did some SANS training, and my the one I'm currently working on is um, CISM, so Certified Information Security Manager, because it aligns with my current role and my future aspirations. That's perfect. What what I'm hearing there is basically your, your background in IT and networks, your CCNA, your knowledge of systems and architecture, 
allowed you to be able to get into the role. And then whatever training you needed was pretty much given on the job. And you did do some certs beyond that um, through through where you were working, which is really good. So I've just got one more question for you. What advice do you have for people trying to break into the industry? What, what advice would you give them? So uh, the advice I would give is something I stumbled upon. Um, I did not plan it. So, but I have learned through experience. Uh, two things, only two things. Um, you, you'll have all the technical knowledge, the prerequisites, all of that stuff, which is good. Um, most people will have it because they, they've undergone through yeah. uh, that, through training, boot camp certifications or whatever. Um, networking and communication skills are the two major things that I think people um, need to break in, but also to stay in the industry and succeed in the industry. And I'll, I'll quickly break it down. What I been, mean by networking is when I um, finished my university degree, um, or was about to finish it, a couple of months before I did it, I started spamming people on LinkedIn. And by spamming, I mean uh, messages to um, head of security, head of IT, SOC analysts, IT support people saying, look, do you have 30 minutes or 25 minutes of your time that you know you can give to me because I'm just about to graduate and I would love to understand a thing or two about your job and learn from your experience. And I think that was the most valuable thing that I did. Um, and I still do that to date. I still reach out to people on LinkedIn um, and say, look, I see you're uh, a CEO or a CISO or a CTO at a big company. Uh, do you have 20 minutes of your time? And surprisingly, lots of people respond. Absolutely. So uh, there's this perception that people are too busy. Yes, people are busy, have schedules, um, but lots of people are willing to kind of share their experience. Um, so that's the number one thing, but also networking within your job. So once you do land your first job, yep. your first six months are the most critical because you need to make connections in the organization. You need to learn um, where different people are, what jobs they do, and learn from their experience because that goes a long way when it comes to um, Beautiful. things like promotions, things like progressing, um, and, and just being successful at the organization, right? So networking is number one. The second, again, um, equally important as much as networking is communication skills. Oh, no because anything you do, not even in work, but just not uh, even in life, right? Involves communication skills. Okay. So that is one skill that not many people teach. So I did not learn that in college or at university, but I did some effort myself. Um, yes. Communication skills are really important. And um, <clears throat> I, I, I did a workshop uh, called Stage Academy by, by uh, Win Jiang. So I do recommend that a lot. He has a lot of free content on YouTube as well. But learning how to communicate will help you um, in your early stages, but also in, in later parts of your career. Oh, it, it goes a long way, right? So um, I think apart from having all of the prerequisites in, in terms of technical skills and stuff like that, networking and communication skills are the two things I would um, highly recommend. Absolutely perfect. Thank you for that. Um, you can uh, th thank you very much, uh, Danielle. Uh, it was really, really uh, great to hear your story, and I'm very thankful that you've 